Yo, what's good YouTube? It's Boardsy, and uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about just how bad the uh, Glorious Mouse Bungie is compared to a lot of the uh, competition, or at least the competition that I've experienced. Um, I made a video on this a while back, but uh, it wasn't really the same, so uh, this video should be able to give you guys a more like full understanding of how dog shit this product is. The first thing, um, these little feet on the bottom, they don't really exist. As you can see, they're like, they just, at, like, they just aren't, they don't do what they're supposed to do. They basically have hyperglides on them. Um, I would urge for, um, aftermarket mouse feet company to model their feet around whatever material these are made of, because they, um, they have the opposite effect of what you would want, um, mouse bungee feet to have so i'm gonna put my um cable in here and i'm gonna flick hard and you can see hold on i should give myself a bit less slack but you saw that um you can just easily move the mouse bungee if you flick hard and that's just not what you want in a mouse bungee which brings me to my second point the weight um this is an insanely low weight which i didn't even know until i got my um zowie kamad which is probably three times the height or three times the weight, um, I apologize. Um, it's super light for a mouse bungee, which is not what you want. You want it to be heavy, and you want it to stick to your mouse pad. You can see I'm literally shaking my entire desk. This thing does not move. This thing, I don't know what it has. It has black mouse feet. They are not hyperglides. These, hyperglides. Um, and now, that's two aspects of it that are just completely dog shit. Um, it doesn't really stay down to your mouse pad, and it's a pretty low weight for a mouse bungee. And now the third thing we're going to get into is the height of the uh, coil thing. Um, obviously, you want it to be taller, and this one, it's really not that tall compared to the Zowie Kamad, which is a... Uh, hold on. I have to like bring it up closer. It really doesn't do it justice it's honestly probably double the height i'll put it down in case any of you guys are thinking i'm like lying you can see it's around double the height um using the zowie kamad v2 your uh, cable is going to be way higher which is going to give you a better experience so i don't know how anybody could um like argue with what i'm saying in this video um let me just show you guys that um you cannot flick hard enough to move this mouse bungee. I actually haven't tried this. It's just not going to happen. This product is a lot better. Um, it even has a little notch on the back to adjust to the height. And yeah, in general, this fucking sucks. And it, the cable, like this little bite thing, doesn't even bite with super thick cables. Um, if you guys remember my uh, model, like the old Model O cable did not fit in this. And also the coil doesn't really bounce for nearly the same time. I'm not sure what that means, but considering the fact that it's short, it's um, basically on hyperglides, it's uh, light, and the coil doesn't bounce for as long. I genuinely don't know what more aspects of a mouse bungee there are, but on all of the ones I've shown, it's far worse in every metric. And yeah, basically, if you're in the market for a new mouse bungee, I don't see why you would get anything else aside from this bungee. It's the uh, by far the best one. I just demonstrated how it is. And yeah, if you guys know those memes that are like, um, Chad Alpha and Virgin Beta. This is definitely the Chad Alpha mouse bungee, and this is the Virgin Beta one. So, yeah, if you guys are in the market for a mouse bungee, definitely get the Zowie Kamad V2. It's $25 or $20, I don't remember, compared to the $15 for this dog shit product. And if you don't have those $10, go fucking cry about it. I don't care. If you want to buy this dog shit product, feel free to. But if you want the best mouse bungee for a small, like, higher price, definitely get this one. And I've heard the Razer bungee's good, but 
Um, this one's definitely heavier and taller, so I'd go with that no matter what. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this little rant comparison video, make sure to like and sub, and yeah, share the video to let people know how bad this fucking mouth is.